hi guys this is sunny uh, in this tutorial what I'm gonna show you guys is how to find if two words are anagrams of each other so for example let's say uh, eat is one word the second word is T and the third word is it so if you look at this all these three words have the same letters and they are actual words so all these three words are actually anagrams of one another and um, I know for sure you guys uh, if you guys are in college or university or in high school taking a programming course anagrams like you know making a program for anagrams is like a very common question so like this sort of question will be on the test or the exam or an assignment or something and for sure this is gonna be very very helpful for you guys like I know in my case you know this the same question that was asked you know by an interviewer when I went for an interview um, and uh, they asked me to write a program on a whiteboard and and this is exactly the program I wrote on the whiteboard which I'm gonna show you guys just now so so let's get started so uh, keeping that in mind uh, these these words in mind uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna first um, write the name of the method so let's make it as a private static map uh, so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna return a map with uh, the with the string the key as a string and the value as a list list of all the anagrams so this is going to store all the anagrams and this is going to be the key so this is going to be the key um, so find anagrams and the input is going to be let's say list of words um, so list of uh, words here so so I'm going to import all my so you see this is not imported correctly so I'm going to import this and there's a shorthand notation there's a shortcut for that which is control shift and O and when you do that it's gonna ask you which one to to import so in this case I want from my util library so I'm gonna double click this and now I have all my imports so if you now first check it's good to check you know whether the list is empty so I'm gonna check whether this is null or dot length sorry it was dot size this is a list equals zero if that's the case um, what we want to do is we just want to return null because there is no list provided to us so we're just going to return a null map um, so now um, what we want to do is first also we want to declare a hash map with string as a key and list as a value and we're gonna name it as um, uh, maybe um, anagrams and so this is just gonna be I'm gonna initialize as null here so now once you once you go past this it's always uh, one, one thing to point out over here guys uh, is always good practice in software to actually uh, put all your variables declare all your variables in the beginning even if you don't know the value just to declare them as null and later on maybe now in this case I'm gonna initialize this so it's gonna be anagrams equals new hash map I'm gonna use so hash map is the interface I'm sorry this is the implementation and map is an interface so I'm just uh, initializing anagrams here and the next thing I want to do is um, I'm gonna run a for enhanced for loop which is string word words so so now I'm gonna get all the words here for example let's say that this was the list and this list had these words eat t and eight so now the first the first time it goes in this for loop I'm gonna have this word which is gonna be eat the second time it goes in the for loop is gonna be T and the third time it goes is gonna be eight and so on 
So the first time it goes, what we're going to do is, and this is the logic that I uh, put down uh, when I was making this method the very first time on the whiteboard during the interview. Um, so what I want to do is, first I want to uh, put this uh, in a correct array. And I'm going to tell you why I'm doing like this. This is just a personal choice. Um, this could have been done some other way as well, but this is how I chose to write this method. Um, word dot trim dot to character array, and uh, the next thing is going to be I want to sort this, and I'm going to tell you why I'm sorting, why I'm converting it to a character array in just a second. So now once you sorted this, the next thing I want is sorted the sorted word of this character array. So this is going to be string dot value of um, character array. Okay, and uh, that's it. So okay, now let me explain to you guys what I'm doing over here. So let's say the word is the first word is is eat okay so it goes into this for loop then i'm gonna put it into a correct array and i'm gonna sort this that's what's going on here so it's gonna be this word is gonna be sorted when i execute this line and here this is just gonna be just putting all those letters together and put them as one string so if you sort them that's gonna be like so so it's gonna be so this sorted word is gonna have a e t like this and the reason why I'm doing this because I'm gonna be using a hash map and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this key for in this hash map and then I want to do let's say for there's a next word which is t it, it comes in this for loop and t is gonna have the same key as well just like for eat and eight all three will have the same key because I'm sorting them over here so they all will have the same key so I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put them in the same list so they're gonna have so all these three words will have the same key which is AET and I'm gonna put them in one list here so that's my thinking behind this and the next thing I want to do is I want to check whether anagrams that's my hash map contains this key which is sorted word so if it contains this key that means I already have at least one um, one word in my in my list um, for this key so what I want to do is I want to first get that list and add my new word into that append my new word into that list so list um, so that's a new list that's going to be anagrams dot get object for sorted word and i want to do new list dot add um and i want to add i don't want to add sorted word but i want to add um in this case word because that's the word i want to add the sorted word is only for the key this word is is the value that i'm going to put in this list Okay, so if it doesn't contain, if the map doesn't contain this word, word that means this key is not there in the map. I'm going to create a key for this. So, so I'm going to do, first I'm going to create the list, a new list over here. So list equal new array list. So let's, let me explain to you guys what I'm doing here. So here. So here I'm just creating a new list uh, of type string. Uh, list is again an interface and array list is an implementation and that's good practice. You know, you should always do like this. Um, you should never do list and list. And, uh, and this is not gonna work in this case uh, because it's gonna say this is an interface and this is not implementation. So that's why you should always use array list. Uh, whenever you're uh, using a list so now here I just declared a list and now what I'll do is I, 
I would like to put this this word into my list so I'm going to add word and and then at the end I want to put it into my hash map which is anagrams.put and the key is going to be the sorted word and the value is going to be the list that I want to put so I'm just putting so so I think I, I probably missed that the same thing over here so I'm going to put anagrams dot put uh, the new list which is the sorted word and and I'm going to put the new list here because I just added a new word into my list so I'm going to re I want to re put that into my hash map same thing over here I want to put the new list that I created just now with and the, and the key is going to be the solid word so at the end of everything I think that's the business logic after that once you come out of the loop uh, you what you want to do is I just want to return the hash map in this case so I return the hash map which is anagrams and uh, and that's it so I think that's the let me just maximize this um, I think that's it um, there's nothing else you need to code in this uh, that's all it's pretty straightforward I guess for you guys um, so now we can test it I already have something over here I can copy from so I have some some letters some words just E T tan eight nat and bat and let's see if I what happens when I put these these uh, words into my uh, method just find anagrams and the name of the list is list so now run this okay so as you see uh, ABT is a key so whatever you see on the left side of the equal sign that's the key so that's the key this is a key this is the key of, of the hash map and all these um, these are values associated to the key so in this case ABT is a key and that's all there's only one match there's only one match in that um, hash map for that key which is bat for AET key there's three matches eat T and eight if you look at this the, all these are anagrams because they all have the same letters and in this case ant is the key and tan and nat are anagrams of, of each other so I think that's that's it you know for uh, this tutorial I, I hope it helps you guys this was the question that was asked uh, by the interviewer and uh, I had to write this on the whiteboard um, so I hope this is clear uh, if there's anything else you guys want me to cover please let me know uh, if you like this video please subscribe leave a comment I read all my comments uh, again thank you so much guys for watching this video have a very nice day